na moja kwa moja watanikupeleke kule bunge ambako nimekuahidi na nikakudokezea kwamba kunayo kamati ya bunge kuhusiana na uchukuzi na usalama ambayo inakutana na wadau mbalimbali wa uchukuzi na usalama barabarani wakemo NTSA kuna idara ya polisi wa trafiki pamoja na wizara ya uchukuzi tusikize wanajadili yapi kuhusiana na usalama barabarani and the other one is emergency and aftercare. So the only reason we went out there was to try and complement the police to be effective in enforcement because it's critical to road safety. <coughs> However, that seems to have caused some issues, and now it is clearer and we are moving out of the road mm -hmm. to allow enforcement to be squarely under the shoulders of the National Police Service. But, but PS, before I give to Commandant, PS, uh, was it waiting for presidential directive? What were you doing? Because it looks like from the talks, the both of them, in a way, work with you. And since you are the accounting officer, I'm not saying that you answer that, Banana PS, but uh, the truth, what were you doing? What were you waiting before the president actually gave a directive to clear the sibling rivalry between these two people here? i provide some clarity in chair without uh, answering this in detail. <clears throat> um, uh, the committee we set up in December came after intensive discussion between interior and uh, the Minister of Transport. And even before the brokerage with the committees, we were very specific in the instructions we gave them. That um, uh, they need to be clear about their respective mandates, they need to remove any areas of conflict, and they must work to complement one another. So even before the announcement by the head of state within government, and I think the way information is transmitted to the head of state without coming into, into the public realm, that is a decision that had actually been made, that we need to withdraw NTSA from the road. So we're not acting after the head of state. If you read the matrix here, um, on the very first page, the very first page, if you can indulge me, we have a clarification of the mandates and roles of NTSA and the traffic police, where we say enforcement of traffic laws is a police function and, should, and, and the police should enforce traffic regulations. And our action timeline was immediately even when we were getting the tentative reports in December. NTSA to immediately stop enforcement of traffic laws, again immediately. And then police officers such as NTSA should return to the National Police Service for redeployment once more immediately. NTSA should focus on licensing, regulatory surveillance, compliance checks, public awareness and sensitization on road safety and policy advice to government, immediately by running continuously. And then NTSA should hand over to traffic police some of the equipment used for enforcement and obviously over time or you know most of the equipment by 30th of March. So uh, I've seen you have really done a lot of uh, defense. Uh, Commander, yeah. just yeah. before we go out, let's go. Commander. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, mm, we, I don't think there was any conflict in uh, any enforcement. The NTSA was there to complement the police, but I think many people misunderstood. And uh, it is it just made me made clear that uh, the enforcement is only for the police officer. That is Kenya Police, KPS, not APS. Uh, the issue of uh, deployment along the stretch, I'll leave it to Mr. Macau, who is the regional coordinator, to answer that question, and the way he's handling the area. I want to answer the question on uh, conflict of interest. It is true, some police officers operate matatus. We have undergone vetting and everybody is, will go vetting. And these are some issues which arose during the vetting. Those who are found to be conflicting their work with the business, they exited the seats. If there are still others who are remaining, I believe they couldn't be hiding in some cocoons and they are to be known and they'll be known and they'll be dealt with according to the law, according to the regulations. Yes, Chair. Yeah. Let me continue. And the other thing is issue of devolvement of traffic. In November 2016, traffic was devolved to county from traffic commandant. And what meant traffic to be devolved was issues of corruption and better enforcement where the county commanders could supervise the traffic which is closer than the commandant. That was a belief. And to ensure that the corrupt cartels are also dealt with. I don't want to say whether it's working because this is continuous, 
But that's why we have Macau here and the Starbucks Star Traffic Rift Valley. We have to confirm whether it is working or not working. But that's why it was a default to counties. Up to today, traffic is not centralized at the commandant level. Um, I want to say that uh, the NTSA is the lead, is the lead agency in road safety. And traffic cannot work in isolation because we need advice from NTSC. Chair, allow me to give Mr. Macau a chance to respond to some of the issues. Thank you, Chair, and honorable members. All the speakers who have spoken, I'm just to add something on top of this issue. First of all, the issue of the deployment of the traffic personnel. It is true that been, it was devolved to account commanders. Now, like in Nakuru, the county commander in Nakuru is responsible for issues of traffic command and for purposes of clarification. You know, when you say <clears throat> default, what you are trying to actually say within the law is that that's a function of county government. Huh? So you need to clarify that that was not actually default. You know, it is. Uh, let us use the right term. The right term is the, the officers are being supervised. Supervised. Centralized. I think the let's use the word is by the county commander. Yeah. Okay. County police commander. And if the issue of the street we are talking about, I'm very sorry about this issue, I can say that. And because from the word go, the chair told us to centralize on the issue of the saga in which happened. That is what he wanted us to talk about what has happened. Because as we had Moshimiwa, the problem with the other counties should not affect uh, the, the problem with Salaga area should not affect the movement and the other people. That is what he was talking about. So for that stretch, I have some bases along the route. Naivasha, uh, Molo, Salaga itself, and Nakur covering that stretch. I have traffic officers based in the base command section. So why did people die? Pardon? If you have them, why did they die? Why, why did you allow people to die? Chair. Yeah. This is only an accident which occurred. What we are covering no, now on is, even before this, and even after this, we have put on some other measures. I have the regional traffic officer, whom we have already detailed the duties where we are being much affected to concentrate on. Also, getting the, the, the reports from the other counties we have. Remember, I have about 14 counties that we are still uh, uh, working very hard on all of those issues. One, after this incident happened, I'm very happy. The Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, they have done something along the route so far. They have created some bumps and they have cleared the route. That is at the sites. We are there. They, 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 they had them talking of some structures coming along. And the police traffic uh, commander uh, or in charge. Remember, we asked you what do you believe were the causes. And because we're asking ourselves, and we're asking you this question, more hard to you, because if you still have the, the person in charge of that road, who was in charge of that road when people, people, people died, and you still have him up to today, is it business as usual? No, not saying business as usual, Chair. The, the accident is still under museum, but the, the cause from the word go, it was about the, the, the trailer failed the brakes from the top. And as we have been discussing uh, what should be done to avoid this, I am aware... No, 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 you're confusing us. Is it the trailer or the bus? Uh, sorry, uh, that, you know there are two uh, cases which happened there. I know that was a bus. The bus uh, failed in brakes. That is the issue. Then it rammed on those. And as the director has explained, in fact, it is true. It is his personnel who saved more deaths when they they, they, they move the rail in front, uh, uh, alerting the other, other vehicles which were climbing the, the street upwards. Then they are, that is what exactly happened. At the moment now, uh, from Kibucha, that is stretch for the way to Nkata Junction uh, uh, to Molo. Uh, no, not Molo, just Molo through the, 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 the area. That stretch, 
we have concentrated more. The personnel we have there, we added more officers on roadblocks to check, to, to make sure that the vehicles do not overspeed, do not overtake dangerously. Those who do that, we are just immediately straight away taken. There is one issue we, are, we have been <coughs> discussing. What should be done? And I know there's something which the PS had talked about while we were there. We are, well, they are thinking of having a compulsory stopover before before we start ascending the the Kibuja, uh, the Kibuja uh, stretch, so that if the vehicles can be checked whether their brakes are still on, because there's a sign there at, at Kibuja side which has already been set. Please engage the correct gear. Please. Don't overlap. That warning is there, has been put there. And in fact, there, there, there are officers warning people about what should be done. But I know there is a proposal of uh, a construction of a kind of compulsory stopover. Before the driver starts ascending down the route, uh, although it might take time for well, this to be constructed, so that it may deter the drivers uh, over speeding or using free wheel gear. Two, uh, uh, another suggestion we talked about there, and I know it is uh, 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 still being, being considered. If this road, that all the stretch, something can be made like the one which is at the Gilgil, Gilgil Way Bridge, whereby the road has been divided, in case the vehicle fails break by bad luck, it cannot go to the other side of the right side of this side. Two, there is also a suggestion. Well, having constructed that barrier, that is the raised uh, rim at the middle of the road, also on the right, on the left side, whether we can have uh, another exit where it will have a stop of a kind of barrier like the one we have in the railways, where in case now the, the trailer or the bus fails the brake, the driver can have an option. Rather than knocking all the vehicles in front, or the one coming from the other side, then he diverts to that stop. Those are the kind of things we are trying to okay, talk okay. about. Honorable uh, Arama, one, one final, then I come to you. Uh, no. Na mtazamaji ni wadau hao wa uchukuzi na usalama barabarani wakigongana vichwa kuona suluhu litatoka wapi haswa kuhusia na swala la kuwapoteza wa Kenya barabarani. Kumbuka mtazamaji mwezi disemba pekee mwaka elfu uh, mbili kumina saba zaidi ya wa Kenya miyamoja walipoteza maisha yao na kidole cha laoma kikaelekezewa NTSA. Wiki mbili tu Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alitoa agizo la kuweza kuwatoa maafisa wa NTSA barabarani akawaregesha afisini na hivi kuna humu kama ambao unahusisha NTSA alafu pia kuna wizara pale ya uchukuzi pamoja na idara ya polisi wa trafiki kuona kutatokezea suluhu gani ili kwamba tupunguze ajali barabarani tunafuatilia taarifa hiyo haswa mkao huo chini ya kamati ya bunge kuhusu uchukuzi na usalama barabarani